A new European Space Agency centre is being built here at the Harwell Science and Innovation Campus near Oxford. This European Centre for Space Applications and Telecoms, EXAT, reflects Britain's increased investment in space technology and ESA's growing presence in the UK. It's not only a new ESA centre, it's a new type of centre because it's an open centre. This is the first time that ESA is settling a centre in an existing campus. These existing facilities at Harwell include a massive thermal test chamber used to put space technology through its paces. Designed to simulate the cold, inhospitable vacuum of space, it has recently been employed to test ESA's contribution to the International James Webb Space Telescope, the replacement for Hubble. We've got a long track record, 30 or 40 years now, of working with, with ESA on a whole variety of space programmes, astronomy, planetary science, uh, and on the other hand, looking down towards planet Earth, uh, looking at the oceans, um, looking at uh, the atmosphere as well. The Harwell site also includes the donut-shaped diamond synchrotron, laboratories, data storage facilities, the UK's new satellite applications catapult, and is home to many other space and technology companies. For ESA, this makes it the ideal location for the new centre. We will benefit here from the wealth, if you like, of what the campus in uh, Harwell can offer in terms of uh, knowledge, uh, scientific knowledge, in terms of skills, in terms of networking. Uh, so all this knowledge and um, capabilities and facil facilities will be offered to the ESA Centre and uh, ESA will exploit it uh, towards uh, the rest of Europe. One of the latest innovations that ESA is developing in partnership with the UK space sector is AlphaSat. This new communication satellite, due for launch this summer, will be one of the most powerful and versatile telecom satellites ever built. Thanks to projects like this, the space sector in the UK has an annual turnover of almost 9 billion euros and is growing at an average rate of 8.6% a year. Success that it's hoped will benefit other member states. It's very important to see that this uh, centre of ESA in the UK is something for the benefit for the whole of the European Space Programme. Tapping into UK uh, know-how is great, but it's also going to support all of the industries and all of the applications and users of space across Europe. Transforming technology designed for space into new products and applications has the potential for enormous economic and social benefits. Along with developing new telecoms technologies, it will be a key focus of ESA's increased presence in the UK. It would be uh, through the development of uh, new applications for the benefits of European citizens, for the benefit of some uh, businesses uh, anywhere in Europe and even outside Europe for the rest of the world. Back in the Harwell clean room, engineers are preparing for their next test developing new space technology that will improve our understanding of the Earth, solar system or universe, which ultimately will also help grow the European economy and make a difference to all our lives.